Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things he'll do You can do If you so desire To try this at home With Mr. T Hello and welcome back To Do Try This at Home I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we're going to have some fun with something that's called a Mobius or Moebius strip. This was invented by August Ferdinand Moebius in 1858. Now, what's so great about it? Well, the Moebius strip is an object, or it's a surface, I should say, that has only one side, and it has only one boundary. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, maybe I can clear that up for you. It has the mathematical property of being non-orientable. Still confused? You're not alone. Today, we're gonna have fun with a simple piece of paper. Any of you out there can do this at any time in your home. It's gonna be so simple, but it's gonna be so much fun. Let's take our paper and let's fold it in half like that and give it a crease down the middle. Take a pair of scissors, just ordinary scissors will do, and let's cut the paper right up that crease so that you have two strips of paper. Let's see if I can actually do that without, um, without too much trouble here. Now, when you have your two strips of paper, lay them end to end like that. Take some scotch tape and tape them together like that. Now. We've got one long strip, right? That's right. Now take that strip and we're gonna give it half of a twist like this. And we're going to attach it back together with a piece of tape so it'll look something like that. Now I found the easy way to do this is simply to take your tape, put it on one of the ends like so, like that, and then do your half twist like that. And then, oops, that's not a half twist, there we go. You don't want it to look like this. You don't want a perfectly round circle like that. You want it to be half of a twist in there like that, and then tape those two ends also together. It doesn't have to be perfect, but hey, just so it's close. There you go. This is known as a Mobius strip. Now, it's a single-sided surface. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, now that we put it together like this, mathematically speaking, it possesses some really bizarre properties. Let me show you just one of those properties. Get yourself a felt-tip pen and start to draw a line toward you down the Mobius strip, down the middle of it. Just keep drawing the line down the middle of it. Like this. Keep going. Now, as you roll this, keep drawing your line. You'll notice that the line could meet, but it's meeting on opposite sides. That's weird. So, keep drawing your line. Just keep on drawing. My hand's a little shaky this today. Too much popping. Keep drawing. Keep drawing down your Mobius strip the same line. Keep going. I know, it's taking forever. I know, it's taking a long time. Okay, keep going. Keep on drawing in. <gasps> Magically, there it is. The point that you started drawing. Now, what's weird about this though is, if I take my Mobius strip apart, if I peel it apart here, my tape is actually tape that makes it fairly simple to peel it back apart. So if I peel that apart there, look at this. That line is drawn on both sides of the paper. So both sides of that paper have a line. Isn't that weird? But I never lifted my pen from the paper. So it's not like I went to an edge and had to wrap around the paper. So that's what they mean by having only one boundary um, component. So let me, let me put my paper back together here, or my Mobius strip back together. And now let's go on to another little fun thing to do with it. Now that I've got that back together, maybe one, I might want to tape that a little better here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting there slow today. Okay, take your Mobius strip and cut it right down the line that you just drew. Cut it in half. Go ahead and cut your strip right in half like this. See? So I'm cutting it in half. Do that. 
cut it right in half. When you get to the beginning, it's not like you have two strips. You have one strip with a double twist. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wild. So if I take this apart here, one long strip of paper. Amazing, isn't it? Well, I've made some other Mobius strips up here as well. This one I made is a little bit thinner. Um, you can make them different sizes. Now, I made one here that's actually made of three of those pieces of paper. Where is that one? That's this one right here. Yeah, so it's a little bit longer. It's a little bigger. Now, watch this. What happens if you don't cut the Mobius strip down the middle? What happens if you cut the Mobius strip about a quarter of the way in here? Watch this. You won't believe your eyes on this one. This one's hardly. Don't go down the middle. Just go about a quarter of the width over, like this. See how I'm doing that? About a quarter of the way. Whoops, I'm getting a little bit too close to the middle there. Let's just keep going though, about a quarter of it. Keep cutting, keep cutting. We're gonna keep cutting, about a quarter of the way in. Now something very weird is gonna happen, you're gonna notice, oh my gosh. The original cut that we started making is over here. We're passing it. We're actually passing that cut up with our cut over here. So we're gonna keep going, about a quarter of the way in, about a quarter of the way in the paper here. And watch what happens when we get, we'll eventually meet our original beginning cut. But when we meet it, watch what's occurred here. There it is. We end up with, look at this, two strips. One with a double twist in it, they're completely separate. And the other one is a smaller Mobius strip in and of itself. So if I cut this, look, it's actually two separate strips and then a Mobius strip that's just smaller. That concludes playing around today with the Mobius strip. I hope that everybody had a great time. And you know what, when you're all done, watch this. Cut yourself a strip about, I don't know, cut yourself a piece of paper about this big. This is just a little added extra at the end of the show here. Take your piece of paper and if you cut it, knock the tape on the floor. After you cut it, go like this down the middle about that far. Cut in about right here, a little below that cut, and then a little bit here. Now take this and, and we're going to fold that so that it looks something like this. Okay, there's our cut here. Now just take this and start to roll it up at this end to kind of make it heavier, kind of like a little bit of a weight. Then take your top here, fold it back like two helicopter blades. Look at this. And you know what you have? You have an actual working helicopter. Drop it from something where high? A real paper helicopter. I'm Mr. G. I hope you had fun today playing around with the Mobius strip. I hope that you learned something. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome back to the Mr. No, did you try the camera? You can all do this today at home and mess around with it for the whole week if you want to. It's got, never mind. Now the Mobius strip has got some really bizarre properties. Mathematically speaking, it's a single sided surface that has a single sided surface that take three.